And that's what it is with auditioning. If you, if you just sometimes, oh, you, you get three minutes to give one color or two colors in a scene instead of the whole thing. Right. And they're looking, they want to see the whole, very often it happens that this person walks into the room and, you know, they're right for the part of that. that. That happens a lot. But very often it's a developmental thing. You know, you, you, you over the course of a show, people will grow to see that you really do have an understanding of what you're doing. But I need that opportunity. I need people to trust me. Mm. I need to feel loved. I need to feel, um, you know, respected. I need to feel wanted. I mean, that's those are three things that we all want to feel all the time. You know, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes I'm responsible for making myself feel that way. Sure. If nobody else will do it for me, I have to feel like, you know what, I'm doing good. I'm okay. You're, you're doing pretty good. You know your lines and stuff like that. You're in your parts. You're being respectful. You know? You're not causing trouble. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's really simple. It doesn't have to come in a uh, thunderstorm. It could just be a raindrop. But you just have to give yourself approval sometimes, you know. And that that can be tricky because for all of us, it's all of our self-loathing. You know, all of us have, oh, God, it's just, I hate myself. I hate my life. I hate all this stuff, you know. That's essential and it's important to embrace that, I think, to a certain extent because that's who we are a lot of times. But there's also those fleeting moments of, I'm okay. Yeah. I feel good about myself today. I'm gonna let that wash over me for a minute, you know? Yeah. And auditioning does not help that process. <laughs>